Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our beloved XCOM 2 rookie Balboa run. Where we're trying to beat the game on the hardest difficulty legend, the Iron Man, with only four rookies permission. Yep, nothing but rookies in this run. It is month number seven or eight, I think. Operation Mountain Dragon is ahead of us, which is another Haven Assault mission. At the moment, we're really just trying to stay alive, make sure that it's a bit more smooth sailing. And um, we're trying to get to the Golden Path missions because that will lead our way or pave our way to Waterworld, the last mission. And whether or not I can really pull off getting there is a big question mark, but for now it looks good ish shinrod and axe are back enders and areas are back freshly upgraded their uh, bond we got two get out of jail cards we got one med kit uh, just uh, so that the chrysalid poison uh, could be healed or in case of endors being attacked not even uh, not only uh, even start and we got some blue screen rounds for the first time heavy very heavy uh, cannon stress storm cannon and blaster launcher in particular our nasty nasty uh, cannons we're going to see how well uh, the uh, these are working and maybe if they are working extremely well uh, we're even taking a third one with us in the final mission i'm still not sure how the loadout for the final mission will look like let's see all right take uh, care and let's go into the mission good we're landing here we go Chosen is leading an assault on the resistance encampment in this area. Our people are doing what they can to fight back. Look at that. Good old resistance encampment. And the good part about all of this is we get high ground for free. Move in and help fend off the attacking alien forces. Getting it done. Pull charge. Taking the high high ground. Anders follows. Roger. Two up there are helpful. Axe on the other side. Position confirmed. And Shinrod. So, nothing triggered to begin with. We're just overwatching. Oh boy. Commander, Advent isn't backing off. They've got units in the AO that are ignoring our forces just to get a better You really, really, really gotta hate chrysalids. Gotta hate the cocoons, you gotta hate the normal chrysalids. You you just gotta hate all of it. X moves in. And we got a problem. We got many problems. But chrysalids certainly are one of them. So the one thing I know about chrysalids is... We gotta kill the problem right away. You can't just let it sit here and, and wait. We got to kill the problem. Equally so, a nice little blaster attack. Could destroy and hurt a lot of uh, these guys. I think this here is the right play. Blast the bomb. And we got a lost swarm, which will help us in the long run. So this is helpful. Believe it or not. Come on, stay with me. 
Now, time to get rid of the chrysalids, as I mentioned. And or the chrysalid cocoon. Wow, 85% shot missed. That is really unfortunate. Moving to here. And I think realistically we will we will need to throw a mimic beacon. Just to stay in the game. Good, moving over here. Oh, there's another chrysalid. No, we gotta throw a mimic beacon. Hate to pull that uh, so early in the game. Time to kill the chrysalid. There we go. And Elite Spectre needs to go as well. Good. Chrysalids just moves in. These guys waste their shots. Now we got another chrysalid. Good, come on. Oh, that is unfortunate. Good, Shimrod moves up. Let's get a couple of the Lost Stone, specifically the Dashers. Okay, well, chrysalids need to be our main uh, main priority here. Two, four, six, eight, nine can't immediately kill that dasher. However, can be killed. Two, four, six that can be killed as well. Target neutralized. I'm running low on ammo. No, that's not a hundred percent kill. This, however, is and another chrysalid bites the dust. Luckily, you gotta hate them. I would like to use an ultrasonic lure. Just to deter the losts for a bit.
moving all the way to the edge. Let's see what we can do. First of all, a couple of the losts need to go. Secondly, we gotta deal with those chrysalids. This could be a kill. Very good. Okay, so. We will maybe take some damage. As the remaining loss could come to us, but we already saved three of uh, them. And we survived the um, the chrysalids surprisingly well, actually. Luckily, we might not even get a hit. Both of them are burning. Those loss do not like uh, chrysalids. That's a given. Chrysalids are up for a hard time here. All right, reloading. Let's take that time. And let's kill the chrysalid. Okay, that was necessary. Now it's just up to us to deal with the loss. And hopefully... We get the loot. Good. Deep magazines. Superior expanded magazine here. Two, four, six, eight. That's a kill. Good, fresh reload. I just want to take these guys off the battlefield so that there are no targets for the resistance. Unfortunately, not a one-shot kill. Ah, that was stupid. That might trigger another swarm. Well, maybe it was stupid, maybe it was not. With it, uh, the swarm maybe it was a happy accident. With that, the next swarm is a little bit closer, so when we really need it, we could get it. Elarium Core is a fantastic loot for us. Almost triggering that next swarm. There's a berserk up there, okay. I can hear chrysalids. Nice little hit for the Cortex. Now both of them are almost in leather range. Yep, and one of them is down. That was a mutant, if I'm not mistaken.
Okay, this resistance fighter even went up and went the extra mile to get into the face of the Berserker. Good. We're moving down. Pull force ahead. There is some high ground over here, which I think is sensible to take. Wow, the resistance fighter even survived it. Nice. They have more than five hit points now. Good. Don't focus on the lost resistance fighters. Ugh. What am I even what am I even trying to say? They will nonetheless do it. Alright, that codex is gone. And they killed the mutant. Holy. <clears throat> another codex, another crit. Guys, your real enemies are over there. Chrysalids. Apparently they don't see it that way. Good, moving up. I hope that this will trigger. Alright, very good. But we could always trigger the ultrasonic lure. Even throw it back here. It would hit our own fighters. Two, four, six, eight. Yep, that's a kill. That's a kill. Two, four, six, seven, that's a kill. Good, the negative portion is we can't really reach uh, the... The chrysalids here. Getting a bit closer. Uh, let's see if we can kill the chrysalids. None of the dashers will get too close to us. And this is now going to be interesting. Okay, advancing teamwork. Let's try to kill that one chrysalid. Drop 
Damn, that was a waste of double shot. Too bad. Good, what's the chance? 80%? That's not good enough. I hate to do it, but here we go. Mimic Beacon. You might think I'm overreacting, but trust me. If the Chrysalids get going, you do not want to be in that position. Why does he get two attacks or is it a second Berserker? Yeah, shoot the Chrysalid. Dude, you just wasted your last shot. Okay, now you wasted your last shot. El stupido. On the bright side, the codices are completely gone. It's a nice little high ground. Very good. It smells like a reload to me. Yeah, just when you could do something meaningful. Oh yeah, drop your high ground. That is a good idea. Well done. The AI really plays out of their mind. Down to one HP, great. Good, moving up, getting that sweet, sweet proximity bonus. And finally a kill. Very good. Can't really hit anyone back here. But maybe it just gives them extra targets, who knows. Three berserkers and they are just cleaning house. Wow. The resistance fighters. By the way, deal six damage with their weapons, which isn't too bad. All things considered, that's actually quite respectable. I think we marked that poor guy with the ultrasonic lure. That's a bad position to stand at. So I wanted to shred storm cannon all of it. On the other hand, they have uh, been hitting the enemy so well that I don't even know if shred storm cannon is the right way to go here.
That's unfortunately a miss. Moving a bit closer. Double moving, I want to get to the high ground. Can't really get a potent angle on that mutant. That's oh, unfortunate. We're just overwatching. And the civilians are paying the price for this. Execute. No. I'm not saying execute enough, and that's why it's not triggering. Oh. Alright, it's pretty safe to say that the only two survivors in there might be... Might be faces once. Good. Now is the time to not focus the faces one, uh, the loss. But yep, exactly these guys. Good freaking job look I mentioned you should not focus those guys and the first thing that you did is you st started to take chances in focusing them it's really bad go here well, there are plenty of targets very good and you even focus the one with the least hit points can't believe that is happening. Guys, you're destroying your own support. The the losses are here to help you. <laughs> On the upside, the lost swarm is killed, I suppose. I think that was almost the last one. Okay, cool. We got two little bit sturdier loss. But no. Instead of going for the mutant. Alright, can we kill the mutant? Yes, we can. As Obama, as Obama once said, yes, we can. Moving up. Shimrod's moving up as well. And... Let's teach these berserkers a lesson. One that they hopefully will never forget. Shredstorm cannon, please. Alright, I think I just crashed the entire building. Because the game is still calculating.
Yep, that's a fair representation of what happened. That's pretty much exactly what happened. Good, we're reloading. And now is a good time for a double strike. Not sure how exactly we can see him from behind here, but it's okay. Oh yeah, shocker. Would have never thought that that would have happened. Maybe I should have just included him automatically. Luckily, this deep in the campaign, the faceless ones are not as scary anymore. And we got a couple of resistance fighters still fighting for us. Matter of fact, I think all six of them are still alive. And their aim seems to be quite good. Wow. That's somewhat reasonable tactics that I'm witnessing here. They just finished the mission by themselves. <laughs> what a fun walk in the park. Good. We are getting there. That was a nice mission. And the new heavy weapons really made a difference like that triple hit uh, was phenomenal excellent work commander your efforts continue to bolster the resistance movement across the globe experimental powered weapon unfortunately not the one that i was hoping for <clears throat> but as we get more Ilarium cores we get more of these chances Good, we are still waiting to build up to build up that codex and the resistance comms nine days. Okay, good. Well, I guess we can continue getting intel then. Rage armor. have ready proposals for various covert missions we should head to the ring to plan our next stop good is there anything else we could use here i think so far we're fine engineering build items rage armor upgrade very good so we got potentially the best armor for the particular run that we're doing. Heavy armor and a free smash. And I think even 
another hit point on top of it. Use Skulljack on the Codex, that's great. Blackside Vial is the name of the game. And we can now officially launch um, our uh, Skulljack into a Codex. Use that in order to recreate the portal and that's really what needs to happen next. We will do that down here. That's, that's going to be a tough mission. A really tough mission. Once we do have more uh, resistance contacts, we can get into Africa. And basically take it from here. Okay, what else do we need? I think we are continuing to gain intel. One of the chosen is moving to attack and that will bring us to Operation Hellfather, which is our second defense. This time against uh, the chosen assassin. But I, I think we got good equipment, relatively reasonably good gear. So I, I would be, I would be confident, more confident than before to go through this. On the other side, we also got heavier enemies. I can already see gatekeepers here. Um, elite specters. We got chrysalids, andromedons. So all of the beautiful. Uh, features of kind of an end game mission. The only thing that we did not have or do not have are sector ports. And yeah, we traded them for gatekeepers. So let's try to to get through this mission as, as well as we can. Thanks for watching. I'll prepare the mission and we're jumping right into the action in the next episode. If you enjoy the content, feel free to leave a comment and a like down below. Tell me uh, if we're going to do this assault mission well. And please also tell me uh, what you think is going to be the best spec for the Golden Path missions. Shall I take uh, the unique uh, items with me and risk losing them? Uh, or shall we just go in with standard gear? Let me know in the comments down below and see you soon. Bye bye.